I play the Northumbrian pipes, which is the traditional instrument of Northumberland, this part of the world, and I think that my music has always been very much influenced by playing that instrument and also from the landscape and the scenery that I live amongst and the traditions of this area. But in this band, in the side, although those things are still part of it, they're definitely, they'll always be part of whatever I do, there are new influences coming in and manifesting themselves much more overtly in the music. I have such wonderful musicians in this band. The thing I love about the Catherine to Kill and the side band is that it's not it's not like anything else I do and these are three amazing women who are inspirational, musical and can cope with me. Louisa actually, you have to watch out for Louisa because she can be pretty fierce when she gets going and she gets, she gets so into her playing and there have been times where, you know, she's, I have to kind of get out of the way of her sometimes because she just about spears me with the end of her bow sometimes and she's really letting rip. It's great. And Lou's got different ideas, she's come from a different background and it's, it's nice to have those fresh ideas in there that we're not used to. Lou's just got this most gorgeous rich sound and she's such a, an expressive musician, amazing. It's great having Ruth in the band because she can kind of operate in the classical world, in the folk world. She's hugely experienced with contemporary music. Working with Ruth is so interesting all the time. She, apart from her enthusiasm and love of life, she has compositional knowledge about music that a lot of people would be insanely jealous of. As soon as we met her, I, I knew I was like, yeah, definitely, you, you feel like part of the band already. I've known Amy for ages, so she's kind of my right-hand man or right-hand woman, I suppose. And she's also the one that's most familiar with, with obviously, with the folk music, the traditional music, which is the background that I've come from. I, I love the clog dancing. I think it's great. I've never seen it before, let alone had it danced in front of me. Amy's very locked in to Catherine Sands, so there's a real proper, very tight blend. She is, she's great, and she's got rhythm that I think a lot of kit players and bands would be very jealous of. And she is just, and always has been, just the most amazing accordion player. There's, there's such a range of different sounds in this band. It's amazing what variety you can get from, from that combination, from four people and Northumbrian pipes, fiddle, harp, cello, piano accordion, and of course the clogs, and then he gets the dancing shoes on. And we cover a lot of ground. So Catherine obviously comes from the northeast, and she's very rooted there. Catherine knows more about music than I think anybody I've ever met. Catherine's music is very rhythmic generally and um, pretty foot tapping. She has this like jukebox of knowledge going from medieval renaissance classical music right the way up to music that is still wet on the, wet on the page right now. I like that we've got some, um, we've all got kind of a, a more of an equal role in it I suppose. Everyone's got such different backgrounds that they've got their own speciality. Um, even though it's, it's Catherine's band as her project and her vision, her idea, it'll all come together with like an, a, a, a four equal roles. You have to all be on the same, all be on the same platform. If you like chamber music, we can do that. If you like toe-tapping jigs and reels, we can do that. If you like stunning cello play, we can do that. Well, I can't, but Louisa can. If you like, if you want a bit of the new age kind of thing, we can probably do that. Uh, yeah, come and see us.